Beat culture. Let's have a conversation. Some of you guys are here because you read the title. Yes, indeed. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we covering stuff like this. And I let y'all know everything as soon as I hear information. Also, hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel. Absolutely. I also have affiliate links in the description. I'm not the one that that tries to sell you anything. It's just, you know, those are in place because it helps the channel. If you do, I appreciate you. If not, it's cool. All right. Is machine 3.0 coming? That's a great question. Here's my answer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know when the next update, because it seems like all of the updates from machine has been mostly maintenance updates i will share this with you guys there was a there was something mentioned in one of the meetings that we had they're not looking at things like everybody else i'm just gonna tell y'all that just trying to paint a picture with you guys when everybody is doing like these one two three four 5.0 6.0 7.0 8.0 they're not really looking at numbers they looking at they looking at it kind of from a Apple perspective, Logic Pro or something like that. You know, we was an X for a long time. I guess it's 11. We're in, I, I didn't know it was ever going to 11. I just thought X was just what it is. But they're not really looking at things like that. They're just throwing updates here and there. But I guess it's time because the 2.0 you know, been here for some years, bro. It's been here some for some years. So I, I, I can't really answer that. I, I don't know. But that was like the last time that conversation was brought up with some of them. They, they're just not looking at it. They just only putting things in what what's not broke don't needs to be fixed. It's kind of like their standpoint. But who knows what's going to happen in the near future I'm pretty sure they are aware of what's going on. They see what Akai's doing. They they see what everybody else is doing. I'm I'm pretty sure they see what's going on. And I'm 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 also say this. On, on this channel, we keep it straight. We keep it 100, man. I I'm not going I'm not going to bullshit anybody. You know what I mean? You you watching this channel, you follow, you've been following for a while. You know, you know the vibes. You know what I mean? There's a lot of irritated people. I get that. A lot of people are not happy about the machine integration with the new keyboard that's out currently and yeah we're gonna talk about that too but just take a moment guys and think about how native instruments is moving right now it was native instruments by itself like you know what i mean like native instruments remember the old logo remember the old logo if you're paying attention to how they moving they recently changed their logo it's a new fresh logo right now they also recently changed the logo to machine think think about these things that's happening you, you got to pay attention these these things are there's sudden changes that are happening along the way the new logo is on the mks the i'm sorry the mk3 the complete control it's, just think about it this keyboard okay now let's talk about it we're going we're going into it the new keyboard with the new logo, we're at MK3. It's a shame that a lot of people is throwing a lot of dirt this way because, I mean, you know, the, the keyboard hasn't gotten an update in a while. So now that the keyboard is out, people are upset because it doesn't have integration with machine if they were to put out a to say machine mk4 out then there will be complaints anyway because the keyboard hasn't gotten an update it's no longer integrated with the keyboard because the machine the new machine got the nks2 and the keyboards is still on nks1 by the way let me help you guys understand what's going on so um <laughs> I've been posting some stuff about the 
the the keyboard and the keyboard just been getting a lot of updates and you know some good things happening for the keyboard I and mean, a lot of people are again upset that there is no integration all right so any iphone users out there all right so if 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 i'm talking to an iphone user or for for any product for that matter when there is an update there are so many updates that can happen to current hardware limitations but once you start advancing beyond the confines of that current hardware in that current device that current device is no longer eligible for updates hence the iphones i still have the iphone 6 sitting right next to me i use it just a controller but i can't update this thing past whatever it was i don't remember the the whatever i have older mac computers i can't get those computers on to a certain i, I forget maybe yoshimite is the last on one of these things i have it can't go past that because of the limitations of the hardware where we are now in operating systems these operating systems work best with the latest hardwares the the chips that are in them and memory and computing and coding and different type of things that help make the machine you know optimize it to work with the software in there okay that's what nks is nks one lives in all of the devices th th you know before this the mk1 the mk2 the mk3 the plus and all of the keyboards that came out the mk1 the mk2 all of the s series all of the whatever series all of those machines are on nks one they've maximized what they can do with hardware now we're in 2024 now we're talking nks2 therefore if you guys are thinking about it that means from this day forward any other hardware that is released at this point will also have nks2 which means that there's a hard possibility that there's integration between those devices you know what i'm saying so i'm not really sure when a new machine will release they haven't told me but i promise you guys as soon as they give me updates on you know whatever i can share i would definitely let you that's why y'all need to be subscribed but anyway whenever a new machine comes out you gotta believe that that's on that's going to be nks2 and we'll have the integration back think about it you understand what i'm saying because the the new machine nks2 that hardware will be able to it will be optimized to work with the new operating system so to speak right you know everybody's just so so hot to jump on the fact that there's no integration and they just you, you know what I, mean? I feel like there's a lot of a lot of people who just they follow what other what other people are saying and so that is a hot topic because <laughs> i feel like this as well i feel like not a lot of y'all even use the keyboard with the machine anyway you know what i'm saying and, and I, i'm not saying that in a derog derogatory form or i'm not trying to like throw shade or like bust anybody chops or anything like that i'm i promise you that's not that's not what's happening but if i was to ask everyone who's asking me asking me about integration to prove to me that you have the keyboard that works with the machine i, I wouldn't get a response back from half of y'all i just feel like everybody's just repeating what other people are saying for those people who actually use that type of integration is also using the integration the doll integration in the keyboard inside a doll a lot of us are using this as a plug-in so for me i love the integration i am number the one of the <laughs> number the what, what, what am i saying i am one of the ones who i'm like 100 percent integration for those that's been following the channel for a while y'all know like i make specific videos dedicated to integration like i was crying about the the uh the keyboards and the integration i remember when they first introduced that to the world that 
the, the keyboards had this dull integration. And so when it was first released on these keyboards, it was Cubase, it was Ableton, I think Pro Tools maybe, Logic. Those were like the first ones to get the true integration. You know what I mean? Coding sp specific to those dolls. Studio One, which is a doll I like to use, has not gotten that true, that, that true nature, that native, you know, integration when it first released. I made a video about it. And then shortly after that, now we have that native now things. I don't know if it was personas on their end, whatever they had to do inside of Studio One to fix that problem. And maybe they had a conversation with Native Instruments because this guy, this Ellip guy, they went on video and he's talking and he's just, man, he's just really, really upset and got people on his videos commenting to him about these integration and now we seeing the forums fill up and blah, 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 you know, that type of thing. M maybe that put a little fire under that situation and we got, we got the integration, all right? But that was probably an easy, easy fix. And also just like Studio One, let's let's go there. Since we talk about integration, let's let's go there. So with Studio One, I believe it's six point oh. I think six point oh is what was released. Or maybe it was five point oh, one of those. Either five point oh, I'm talking Studio One. Studio One five point oh or six point oh. Y'all remember when the, the Atom Pad came out? Or the the newer one, the the Adam S. It's right here in my face. This thing, Adam SQ. Right, when this came out, this could not talk to earlier versions of Studio One because the coding is not there. Right, NKS One. You feel what I'm saying? The older versions was NKS1. I'm talking native instruments. Just think native instruments with the new keyboard, NKS1, everything, the integration that lives before the the Mark III keyboard that's out currently right now in 2024. Just think of those as those are NKS1. Just think of Studio One. We we talk of two different things, but I'm follow me, follow me. Studio One 1.0 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and I think 5.0, but don't quote me. All of those, you cannot use this as a native deal. You had to upgrade to 5.0 or 6. I think it's 6.0. I want to say 6.0. Uh, no, actually, I think it's 5.0. I can't remember, but follow me. In order to use this as a native deal, and I, I mean, you can use it as a MIDI controller on any version. You know what I mean? But to use the native, use it natively, there were certain codings in here that only talks to one of the versions that allowed this and up. You see what I'm saying? That's NKS2. So whatever this is doing, you can only have this in 5.0 or 6. I can't remember. Still can't remember. But you get what I'm saying? All right. I hope. I made that clear with some of you guys and some of y'all can just lay low and just, just relax, man. Just relax. Just relax. Yes, there is no no integration right now with the current machine and the MK3, the complete control MK3. But that's because of the operating systems. You, you can't make something newer on a whole different operating system platform hardware that was designed for that to backwards be compatible with other gear because they're doing something different. You know, and you say, well, they should have thought about that, you know, because I hear, I hear some of y'all, because some of those comments I read, they should have thought about that before they blah, blah, blah. Somebody going to complain every time. Anytime something comes out, any move that anybody makes, somebody have an issue with it. Like, really, just relax. See, see what Native Instrument does. 
he got a lot of people who's jumping shit and it's cool you know what i'm saying it is what it is i feel like you was going to do that at one point or another you know the the true diehard machine users are still using machine and and going to stick around you know yeah we, we we're not too happy about the integration but it, i mean the history of native instruments it's a great company they produce great sound we see how they moving i see how they moving you know what i mean yeah i love i love native instruments fanboy i mean call me call me what you want i was making videos about native instruments before before i got to this point where i get emails or get products to test out and, and knowing certain information before the public i was doing this before that so you know that's this is the only reason why i gotten to this point because i love what native instrument is and what they stand for their quality you know what i mean so i just stuck around you know what i mean so i hope i clear that up for some of you guys that are just still tripping out like relax now there are rumors i've heard the rumors trust me there was some discussions concerning this i can't confirm any of those rumors i'm not really sure i haven't got that that information from the, the people i've talked to from native instruments i can't confirm it they're not going to confirm it it's a rumor however there's some talks that we might be seeing some 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 moving some shaking you know with a new update you know maybe machine 3.0 in terms of software I mean, i'm excited if that's the case you know what i mean i'm really excited but currently right now currently you know i use native instruments products religiously you know what i mean i still use my machine to knock out stuff i don't necessarily need the keyboard to talk to my machine because a lot of times i'm using the machine as a plug-in i'm not really doing standalone projects in my machine like that even when it was native even when i do use the machine on a, in, as a standalone i mean i do use the keyboard with it but a lot of times i didn't i just used the machine and just did my thing you know what i mean i don't know i don't know that's that's just that's just why i am with it you know what i mean it's a lot I want to say, but <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the video short and um type of stuff going on in my head right now will just piss people off because like <sighs> okay, I digress. Hello, <laughs> oh, B culture lifestyle going bard. <laughs>